Angular dimensioning using two line segments. Let's go up and choose dimension. We pick on dimension. We'll come over and pick on one line. Then, instead of placing dimension, we're going to come over and pick on the other line. And now I'm going to place my dimension uh, outside of the throat of the angle. And I have option number one. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go up to dimension. I'm going to pick on one line. And I'm going to come down and pick on the other line. This time, I'm going to go on the uh, vertical opposite angle between the two lines. And I'm going to go outside the throat and place my angular dimension in there. We'll do that one more time. I'll pick on one angle. I'll pick on the other angle. And I can now place it in the major angle between the two lines. And I can do this again. I pick on one line, I pick on the other line, and now I can go and place it on the minor angle in between those two lines. So we can place angular dimensioning between line segments by picking each line uh, and then placing our uh, angular dimension, uh, our location line for an angular dimension where we want it.